You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Hanger versus Babbitt. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Hanger, you claim the defendant has already been placed on child support for your daughter, Chloe, and therefore there is no reason to administer a paternity test. Yes, Your Honor. You've dragged him to court to order he pay the support he has been neglecting. Mr. Babbitt, you petitioned the court to order a DNA test because you are 100% certain that you are not her child's father and claim to have proof to support your case. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. The court must decide if there is enough evidence to administer a paternity test. But first, Ms. Hanger, what has Mr. Babbitt done for your child? He's done father? absolutely nothing for her. He's a spoiled, rotten, arrogant b brat. Point blank. He won't even admit that she even looks like him when she's identical to him. Ooh, just because you frame her up there and put her next to my family, that's not actually a DNA test. You know what I mean? That's not actually... Okay, you'll, get, you'll get it. Don't and worry so, about it. Mr. Babbitt, you say you're certain you're not. In all actuality, I mean, like, no, I don't believe it. I'm you're very... blind, dude. You're blind. That's point blank. You're blind. A medical a professional at all giving me the opinion that you were pregnant would have been good, too. But, I mean, like... And that's... so, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just no. let me understand this situation. I don't yeah, know yes, how you nothing. two even ever had sex. The way you two are acting. I mean, goodness, how did you end up on child support? Oh, I defaulted, I suppose, as they say, because um, I didn't get served. They dropped papers off on my porch, on my grandmother's porch, and... No, I show the paper, seen the paperwork from them. It's a Jane Doe signed it, but that legally states that you've received this paperwork. It, it says that Jane Doe has. But they said as long okay. as somebody signed for it and saying that you were going to get it, you were automatically no, But they involved. said that? Or did you say that dropping the paperwork off not talking anymore? No, they showed me the paperwork of somebody signing it. Okay, so there was no coincidence that after you they showed up on said, my porch... I asked them. And then when I go get so something did to drink you get the later, paperwork, Mr. Babbitt? I got paperwork on my porch. Did I get paperwork from any person? All right, no. so you got paperwork on your porch that said what? That there is a paternity thing for a DNA test for whatever Chloe, Chloe, yeah, for Chris. Did you show up for the DNA test? I didn't think it was happening. I couldn't find it anywhere else, or and I couldn't get any information. I had wrote him before. previously and told him, "Hey, it's coming up. Or you, you need to show up there because it was a court-ordered one." So the bottom line is there there was an attempt to notify you, and you did get the paperwork that said show up for a DNA test as it relates to baby I've Chloe. also seen paperwork saying I want a free iPod. That doesn't mean it's true. I mean... All right, <gasps> you can be a smart mouth if you want, but you the one on child support. Yes, ma'am, what do you have I here? have the proof showing the paperwork stating that he is on child support. Let me see that, Jerome. So this is paperwork that shows that you are supposed to pay $272.50 per month in child support. I actually never got the paper. Here's the paperwork that I got. It was to my restaurant, and it was stated, it says you're supposed to be paying child support for Chloe Hanger. Didn't give a middle name, didn't give a social security number. On the birthday panel... They're not going to give you her social security Why, number. Why, if I'm the father? Miss Hanger, I want to understand what he's saying, because I want to understand how a grown man gets paperwork from a court that he doesn't honor. You felt like you were... It was like... a. Uh, something fraudulent? Well, it, it, well, yeah, if I would've got a letter that had, it, like, postmarking on it, you know, that went through the mail, that would've made me feel a whole lot better about it. But I didn't. It's because so, they personally served you. They weren't gonna put it through the mail to say, oh, I lost it the, or never received it. Right, well, because the mail would just, you know, register it and actually be proof of going and have a tracking number and all that. But that's beside the point. Um, so, you got the paperwork. Did it identify Ms. Hanger as the mother? Yes. And you did sleep with her, right, at some point? That is true. And so, if it had her as the mother and you had slept with her at some point, you didn't say to yourself, well, just in case this is real, I should call about this, this could be serious, I could maybe have a child? Just in case it was real, I figured it'd be filled out, so... So the bottom line is you just decided to disregard and wait the paperwork, for the actual something like this to happen. name the father by default, and now you are responsible for child support. They if told me father, because... Son or daughter. I'm sorry? If it's my child, I will, but you're correct. Well, no, you're responsible for it now because you were named the... They uh, gave him 30 days after he did not show up for this DNA test. They gave him 30 days to appeal it, and he never did. I can still appeal it. No, you can't. Not after that. Your name's on her birth certificate now. I didn't sign it. Mr. Babbitt, this has nothing to even do with the birth certificate. This has to do with the fact 
your failure to appear caused you to be named the father by default. Did I look confused about that? No, you look confused, period. And you look like you got a smart mouth and you think you know too much, but what you should have known was to bring your butt to court. Then you wouldn't be here. Thank you. Now, you can get smart with me if you want to. Let me tell you something, Mr. Babbitt. Let me tell you something, Mr. Babbitt. (laughs) You can get smart with me if you want to. You're gonna lose every day of this week. I'll give you a minute to get yourself together because you're not going to clown. Because it's a baby here whose father's in question and we're going to get down to the bottom of it. I'm doing you a favor of trying to understand your position. But every time I ask you a question, you have something smart to say. We're not getting... Now, hold on. Do not question what I think you look like. I'm here to ask questions. You're here to answer them. I'm here to give you the answers to the questions you have as it relates to paternity. Now, whether you have animosity towards Ms. Hanger or you feel like someone tried to railroad you, that's your personal feelings, but what you're not gonna do is take them out on me. I'm sorry, I was just trying to tell the truth. Oh, no, yes, you are sorry. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. How did this relationship Begin. Was it committed? Were you also sleeping with other people? I met him through my roommate. He'd hung out a couple of times, played video games, listened to music, all that stuff, and then everything went on from there. So the bottom line is you two were intimate. Yes. At some point. Yes. Did you use protection? No, never. All right, Mr. Babbitt, do you think at the time she was sleeping with you that she was also sleeping with someone else? Yeah, the other roommate. Yeah, because he was super jealous when I first showed up there. I was going to tell me about What made you believe he was sleeping with her? He made a comment about how when she gets mad, walking around looking like a bulldog, and then the other state... Well, wow. We said it, you know what I mean? And then the other thing was talking about the size of her female anatomy, and it, 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 it lined up, and he did. I this mean, is new to me. I've never heard this. I don't know how right exactly you, you can is- even... Uh, let's see how we can say this. There was an identifiable piece of her anatomy, and it was described, and then when you had a sexual relationship with her, that description was confirmed, the- and so you felt to yourself, they probably have been... Right, possible. probably, yes. Okay. When you found out you were pregnant, you told Mr. Babbitt because that was the only person you were sleeping with? Yes, I had not slept slept with anybody else prior to him for a year with my ex-boyfriend. So you had never slept with anybody else but Mr. Babbitt during that window of time? Well, you were sneaking out in the middle of the night doing something. I was not sneaking out anywhere. The the only time I'd get out of bed is to go to the bathroom. Yes, and you wouldn't come back for an hour. So you would be asleep and then she would climb out of the bed and not come back for an hour? Yeah, I mean, sometimes 30 or 40 minutes, but it's a long... No. And that's when you thought she was also she was, with the roommate. That's, and that's yeah, because I start piecing together, I'm like, well, he said no. this, but that could have been a past relationship thing. Maybe he's just being jealous. But then her sneaking out... No. And it wasn't exactly sneaking out, but not coming back. It just kind of starts building some questionable situations The only time here. I would leave my bed when he was asleep is to go to the bathroom and come back. Okay, so the court has ordered a lie detector test to determine if, in fact, Ms. Hanger was sleeping with the roommate, um, and we will have those results shortly. Moving on. During the pregnancy, did you immediately say, that's not my child, or did you participate? I was wanting to get evidence of it, like a, a pregnancy test. Now, she did take a little, I guess she took one. I never saw her take one. She presented me with a pregnancy test that was positive. But I was like, well, you know, for a dollar, how about you just go get another one? That way I don't think some ghetto hood rat stuff's going on and we can, you know, get this worked <laughs> out. And she objected to that. We went down to... I did not object. I said we didn't have the money to go get it. When I told him to go and get it... was a dollar. The dollar was right there. I told him to go and get it. And he didn't have any money. I didn't have any money. We were together for three and a half months in the house. So at this point, you're not believing, Mr. Right, Babbitt, that, that be, she's that really even pregnant, or you're not believing that the baby is yours? Uh, I didn't even believe, you didn't she believe was I was pregnant. pregnant. All right. I went to the doctor's appointment with her to get the ultrasound done. We're sitting there, they're doing this ultrasound, and the nurse is sitting there, okay, we're gonna find that heartbeat. And then the nurse is kind of going over her stomach. It and- wasn't an ultrasound, it was a fetal Doppler. Two different things. Well, anyway, it's supposed to detect at six weeks and you're seven and a half, and the nurse told me no, so that was my medical She advice. said it was too early to probably tell no, you. No, she did not. You were supposed to go to the next appointment and you took off to Florida. Wait, let me get this. So when you were at that appointment, Mr. Babbitt, and it was hard for her to detect a heartbeat... At all. You said, okay, she's not pregnant. Yes. 
And then that's why you went on ahead and went out of town because in your mind you I thought it. Yeah. there was no pregnancy. Well, but for one, I am a bigger I'm a I'm a bigger lady. It does take a little bit harder to detect things when you're a certain amount of weeks pregnant. So you were instructed two weeks later yes. come back. Yes, and he left two days before that next. She appointment. wasn't instructed on anything while I was there. She may have been instructed, but that evidence was withheld from me too. Miss Hanger, when you had the baby, you you were there by yourself. Mr. Babbitt was not there. No. All right. This is the Did girl you let like him you. know? Did yeah, you... I let him know. I had to go get induced. Yeah, you're um, like, I'm having and then a baby I got tonight. Had, Wait, no, I'm not. No, tonight for real is the night. No, no it's I not. got induced. And then after a week of that. I got induced. Did you? A week before my due date. I was there for 12 and a half hours. They couldn't get my water to break, so they sent me home. But I wrote him that first inducement telling him I'm in the hospital, and this is what he proceeds to tell me. I have evidence of the, the letter right here. Let me see that, Jerome. So you tell him, I, I'm in the hospital and it's really gonna happen this yes. time. And you write, I'm in the hospital, and Royce Babbitt, the defendant, he writes back, that's great. Maybe they have you committed because you have to be crazy if you think I'm coming up there for a baby I don't believe is mine. And he also tried <laughs> to tell me that I stole a baby because I never proved to him that I was pregnant. No, what I thought could have happened is as crazy as you are, you might have been up there doing something in the hospital, not pregnancy related, and then saw a new, See? like, here, I'll give you 10 bucks, let me take a picture with the kid, or your kid, this way I can Facebook it. I am in a hospital bed. I had a cesarean. I had an emergency C-section the second time I got induced. Up until this point, from the time you went to Florida until the time you had this baby, you all weren't speaking, he wasn't involved? No, we started semi-talking on Facebook only. Yeah. And he had me come pick him up in December, I'm 32 weeks pregnant, to come over to my house to talk in person. It's the first time I had seen him since he took off. Thought you were he a liar. laid his head on my stomach. He asked me what I was naming her and stood in the middle of her nursery. Yeah, I walked in and there and I was like, you I still don't hear why, a heartbeat. Why, why, why are you feeling emotional, Miss Hanger? What are you feeling? <laughs> that my daughter has to go without her father because I went through that. <laughs> you brought a witness today give you a moment to compose yourself. I'd like to hear from your witness. Sir, please stand. State your name, sir. Roy Babbitt. Mr. Babbitt. Sorry. You are... Oh. Royce's uh, father. You're Mr. Babbitt, Royce's father. Correct. And you're standing with the plaintiff. Because Chloe is our granddaughter. We'll take in anybody's kids. And, and you you do here. believe that? <laughs> yes, I truly believe that. And you brought evidence. Yes, I'd like to see yes, that, sir. sir. What is it? It's a picture of uh, my baby picture with Chloe. This is a picture of... Of my baby picture. Of your baby picture Correct. on the left and, and Chloe. Chloe's baby picture on right. the right. Plus, <laughs> plus, Chloe has so many tendencies, looks, and mannerisms as, as Royce does that, uh, you know, it, it's... It's really hard to deny. We've, we've gone through this with the first child, and, uh, you know, it's just, he needs to step up to the plate. You know, he's got an older boy, and, and we've gone down this road before, and, and you know, he needs to... The first and, thing, and, step and, up. And I moved my wife in. The second in. one here we are with Chloe. We're in, and, my son. And, uh, you know, he just needs to, he needs to step up to the plate and take care of his children. All right. Well, the court issued lie detector test. Mr. Babbitt requested it, and we did so, and we have those results. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? This lie detector test was issued in order to see if, in fact, there is enough evidence to warrant this court ordering a DNA test. Ms. Hanger, you met with a licensed polygraph expert with 20 years of federal law enforcement experience. You were asked, did you have sexual intercourse with your roommate after March 2013? You said no. The lie detector indicated deception. That can't be, no, something's not right with this. I swear on everything. I did not touch my roommate. That is on my daughter. That is on my family. There are notes in the court papers, I remember reading them, that refer to a one night stand. Do you remember this one night stand? Yeah, it was back in August. It was, I, did I carry my daughter for 18 months pregnant? No. So I did not. It was in August, and he was drunk, and we didn't even finish. All right. The court has determined that there is sufficient evidence to warrant uh, a DNA test. I am going to order both of you to submit to that testing, return to this courtroom, and we will have the results. Are we clear? Yes, we are. The court is adjourned.
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. We're back in session in the case of Hanger v. Babbitt. Uh, you all have gone and submitted to the DNA testing, and we have those results for you. Jerome, the envelope. Here you go. Thank you. Before I read these results, if either of you have any words you'd like to say, truth you'd like to tell. A drum roll. <laughs> no? All right. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Hanger versus Babbitt, when it comes to 17-month-old Chloe Hanger, it has been determined by this court Mr. Royce Babbitt, you are her father. Oop, I guess. All I want is an apology, Royce. Huh? All I want is an apology for her. I don't owe you any apology. Definitely you owe me an apology daughter, for denying Royce. her. Come on, dude. It's, I told you from day one. Yeah, it's my child now, but it wasn't then. I mean, I can't it it your then. child since conception. All right. Let's not go into this nonsense because it just doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't. That was the past. Let's just be honest. This is a lesson to women and men alike. When you engage in activities that produces children without using protection, you can end up with a child by a man that has this response. And now you gotta figure out how to work together because this little girl needs you both. With that said, we have resources for you. Counseling, take advantage of it. Figure this thing out for Chloe. I wish you the best of luck. Court is adjourned.